Good yeah. before that. Mm. Amazing. Yes. Now to a story more than two centuries in the making. News 8's government reporter Garrick Burquist takes us to a naval installation a little south of Bloomington. Yeah, this is a good one, too. There he discovered the unique role that our state plays in keeping America's oldest warship afloat. The White Oak Forests here at NSA Crane have been here longer than the base has. And now some of these trees are going to put the iron in old iron sides. Rhett Steele has to pick out just the right tree. On the tree, we're looking for a defect free, which is no knots. Um, the knot is a will be an old limb that's grown over or an old limb scar that's grown over. So that's going to be an avenue for water to get into the ship. Naval support activity crane covers some 62,000 acres southwest of Bloomington. It's best known for manufacturing and storing munitions and for hypersonics research. If these trees have what Steele was looking for, they will become replacement timber for the USS Constitution. The planks that are used uh, for the hull are 17 or 14 inches tall by 6 inches thick by up to 45 feet long, so it takes a rather large tree to get that size of a plank sawed out. The Constitution was commissioned in 1797. She's the oldest warship still afloat anywhere in the world. She was built using the very same materials Indiana provides today, white oak. It's just neat to have our hands in it and know that over here in Indiana we got a little part of preserving history and that we we help keep it afloat. NSA Crane is the only source of wood for the ship. On Wednesday, loggers cut four trees, all nearly 150 years old, and loaded them up for the trip to the Constitution's home port in Boston. Preservation crews will use them all over the ship. That group of trees came from another part of the base. This grove was dedicated as Constitution Grove in 1976. Steele says some of these trees already are more than a century old. Before too long, they too will join the mission of keeping Constitution afloat. And we can say that we're keeping a part of our, well, almost like one of our country's founders still alive. That's, that's just kind of neat to have a, our hands in that. Seal says since these forests now supply all of the wood for USS Constitution, the Navy is considering doing smaller tree harvests every single year. At NSA Crane, I'm Garrett Bergquist for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.